I want to share something truly inspiring with you today. I recently had an experience that reminded me of God's faithfulness in my life. Last month, I was going through a tough time at work. My boss had been giving me a hard time for weeks, criticizing my work and making me feel inadequate. I had tried to talk to him about it, but he just wouldn't listen. Later that day, as I was driving home from work, I was feeling particularly down. I remember praying to God, asking Him to give me strength and guidance during this difficult time. I asked Him to help me find a solution to my problem, or to at least give me the courage to keep going. As I pulled into my driveway, I noticed a text message on my phone. At first I thought it was just an advertisement, but as I got closer, I realized that it was a message from one of my colleagues. She had written me a heartfelt message, telling me how much she appreciated my hard work and how much she admired me. She ended the message by saying that I was an inspiration to her and that she believed in me. As I read the message, tears started streaming down my face. It was exactly what I needed to hear in that moment. It was as if God had sent me a message of hope and encouragement through my colleague. I felt renewed and empowered, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead. This experience reminded me that God is always with us, even in the darkest moments of our lives. He hears our prayers and sends us signs of His love and care when we need them most. We just have to be open to receiving them. As I sat down to pray later that day, God spoke to me and said, You are exactly where you need to be. Those words alone brought me comfort and gave me hope. But then, He said something else that stuck with me. Today is a day of transformation. At the time, I didn't know what that meant, but I trusted that God had a plan. Throughout the next day, I felt a pull to let go of my fears and surrender to the flow of life. I was supposed to attend a meeting, but I felt a nudge to cancel and just let the day unfold. And that's exactly what happened. God led me on a journey of self-discovery and growth. Looking back on that day, I can see how God was working behind the scenes all along. He was preparing me for something greater, even when I couldn't see it. I was supposed to work, but I felt a nudge to just let the day flow, and that's exactly what happened. God led me on a journey of self-discovery and healing. Sometimes we can get so caught up in our own pain and struggles that we forget to trust God's timing. We want things to happen on our own terms, but God knows what's best for us. When we wait on Him and trust in His plan, He will always come through for us. Have you ever looked back on your past and wondered why you gave certain people the time of day? Maybe it wasn't even about the person, but rather the spirit within them that didn't align with yours. We've all been there. But what if I told you that God has a purpose for every relationship that comes into our lives, good or bad? Recently, I again found myself feeling overwhelmed and stressed at work when God spoke to me. He asked me what I had learned, and I replied that I am a strong and capable woman. I already knew this, but life brought a challenge my way to test my resilience and determination. And I passed the test because I chose to focus on the lessons I could learn in the process. God's presence was all around me as I left work, and He kept saying, because you persevered, because you didn't give up, because you believed in yourself and your abilities, even when it seemed impossible. And that's the key, my friend. Believing in yourself, trusting in your own strength and capabilities, and persevering no matter what challenges come your way, it's easy to get caught up in the chaos of life and forget our own strength when we have God at our side. But we are capable of so much more than we give ourselves credit for. We have the power to overcome any obstacle and achieve our dreams if we just believe in ourselves. It's easy to seek revenge or hold on to bitterness when someone wrongs us, but that only hurts us in the end. When we choose to forgive and let go, we open ourselves up to God's blessings and His plan for our lives. We become vessels of love and grace, just like Jesus. You may have thought that you were stuck going nowhere, but let me tell you that your season of stagnation has officially ended. Do not be disheartened. 
You see, because you waited on God and continued to seek Him, even in the midst of difficult times, He has promised to elevate and promote you in a way that you never thought possible. It may not make sense to you right now, but trust in God's plan and His timing. I know that some of you may be thinking that this message is not meant for you, but it is. If you have been intentional about keeping God first in your life, despite the chaos, heartbreak, anxiety, and grief that you may have experienced, then this message is for you. God has been testing your heart, and you have passed every test with flying colors. He sees no wrong in you because you have the heart of Jesus within you. You have love and compassion residing in your soul, and God is pleased with your obedience throughout every season. You see, I believe that every single one of us has the potential to achieve great things and live a life filled with purpose and fulfillment. But sometimes, we face challenges that make us doubt ourselves and our abilities. That's why I want to encourage you today by sharing a story of my own personal journey. A few months ago, I was in a season of confusion and disappointment. It felt like everything and was being stripped away from me. But in the midst of that darkness, God spoke to me and told me that my new name was Victory. At first, I didn't fully understand what that meant. But as I began to lean into God and seek His guidance, I started to experience win after win after win. And now, I believe that God wants to do the same for you. He wants to take you from a place of defeat and bring you into a season of back-to-back -back victories. But here's the thing. It's not just about what God can do for you. It's also about what you're willing to do for yourself. When I made the decision to prioritize God and put Him first in my life, everything started to change. I stopped accepting the bare minimum from people and places that didn't align with who I was becoming. I stopped allowing fear and anxiety to control me, and I started stepping into my purpose and calling. Sometimes we let others play us, and we ignore the red flags that God is showing us. But God has plans for each and every one of us, plans to prosper us, not to harm us, but to give us hope for the future. God wants to take you from glory to glory to glory, despite any offense, betrayal, or lies that may have happened to you. Those things weren't done to you, they were done to God. So don't take them personally. Let go of the battles that aren't yours to fight and trust that God is fighting for you. In the midst of chaos and darkness, we need to remind ourselves of our why. What is it that drives us? For some, it may be their children or family. For me, it's who I get to become. Not who I was, not who I am becoming, but who I get to become. I have a vision of who she is, what she wears, where she goes, and what her purpose is. And in my darkest moments, I hold on to that vision and hope for the future. If you're reading this, it's because God has a message for you. Maybe you've been waiting patiently for something to happen, and God wants you to know that He's about to flip the script in your life. Overnight, you may become a celebrity in your own right. But remember, every word is not for everybody. Take this message back to God, pray over it, and see if it resonates with you. I want you to know that God loves you and has a plan for you. He wants you to live a life filled with joy and purpose. So don't be afraid to say no and walk away from things that don't align with who you are. Trust that God has your back and that He is fighting for you. Keep seeking, keep praying, and keep growing. You are destined for greatness. Let us pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you today on behalf of everyone listening to this prayer right now. I pray that they too are reminded of the many times in their life when you have shown them your faithfulness and love. Thank you for the blessings you have bestowed upon them and for the challenges that have helped them grow and become stronger. Lord, I ask that you continue to guide them on their journey and help them find strength and courage in moments of difficulty. Just as you sent me a message of hope and encouragement through my colleague, I pray that you continue to send signs of your love and care when they need them most. I pray that they trust in your plan for their life and ask that you give them the wisdom to discern your will. When they feel lost or confused, 
I pray that you give them clarity and help them remember that they are exactly where they need to be. Lord, I pray that every relationship in their life has a purpose, whether good or bad. Help them to see the lessons and blessings in each interaction and use them to grow and become a better person. As they face challenges and struggles, I pray for the strength to persevere and the faith to believe in themselves and their abilities. With your help, I know that they can overcome any obstacle and achieve the greatness you have planned for them. Thank you for being with them always and for never leaving their side. I pray that they trust in your goodness and mercy and know that victory is theirs through you. In Jesus' name, amen. Like the video and type amen if you trust in the Lord. Click the link in the description to discover a limited time special offer on a life-altering technique designed to help you manifest God's blessings.